the Oklahoma coaching search is going to get really, really interesting. There are a ton of of different options, Bet Online has got uh, odds for the next Oklahoma head football coach. <laughs> and the guy that I am already hearing that they have reached out to, that they are warning that uh, I believe wants the job is Brent Venables. Uh, his odds already are at plus 275. Now, these odds are worth about as much as the paper that uh, that I could write them down on. Like, th- these, this is an intern at whatever sports book that is putting them out in the the max bet you can put on it is like 25 bucks. It's They are not going to lose money on this deal, bottom line. Nobody really knows what is happening with this, but the odds on this, uh, Luke Fickle, plus 300. Bob Stoops, plus 425. Bob Stoops, of course, is the, the interim coach now. He's the one that retired that allowed Lincoln Riley to take over the head uh, coaching position. But, uh, but Bob Stoops, Matt Campbell, the Iowa State coach, uh, Josh Heupel, the Tennessee coach. Now, there is... Bad blood there, It is the relationship is just frigid. Like, there's no way that they are going to hire Heupel. Uh, Joe Castiglione was there when all that stuff happened, when Bob Stoops had to fire Heupel. Remember, Heupel was a quarterback at Oklahoma that did insanely well. <laughs> but he, he was fired as OC because he wasn't doing a good job. So, is what it is on that. Jay Norvell, the Nevada coach at plus 1,200. Alex Grinch, the defensive coordinator there at Oklahoma, that appears to be going with Lincoln Riley to USC. Uh, they're saying he's plus 1,200. Dave Veranda, the Baylor coach, plus 1,200. And Cliff Kingsbury, the Arizona Cardinals NFL head coach at plus 1,400. That will not happen. Dave Veranda is re-upping with Baylor. Uh, Alex Grinch, I don't think he's ready for a job that big. Jay Norvell, I don't believe that that is going to happen, but who knows? Mark Stoops, why would you want to go be in your brother's shadow? There's all kinds of things there. Brent Venables appears to be the guy, and it's the guy that I would hire. You've done, you've been really successful by hiring coordinators that were ready for this position. Brent Venables has been waiting around forever. Why would he have taken any of these other jobs? <laughs> Matt Miller jumps in. No, Dusty Dvorak just tweeted, nothing is final for Venables. No, it's not final yet, but the job just came open yesterday. So I would imagine at some point here pretty soon, Venables will get done, but but we'll see. We'll see what happens. So I, I don't think Matt said they have a press conference in 11 minutes, and, and that's perfectly fine. They will probably address the situation because I don't think they've gotten the chance to do that yet. So until I see otherwise, I'm going to believe that it would be Venables. I think that they are better set up in this position. LSU appears to be the ones that may have to restart. <laughs> they may not know what they're doing, but we'll, we'll talk about them momentarily. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.